Hello everyone, welcome. This is now Observer. We're now going to find all the collectibles. So just a word of warning, I would say about 80% of these collectibles are missable and you cannot backtrack. So just be warned and pay very close attention to the video and what we need to do. So just to let you know, all the Victor's hacks, there's Helena's hacks, Emir's hacks, or any hacks we do, you cannot go back to them once you finish. And if for some reason you miss something, you got to do the whole game over again. There's only one save file, and that's an auto save file. So you have been warned. And I will tell you throughout the game as well. So here we go. This is the ground floor. So once you finish your first crime scene, you will leave the door. And for you guys, the, the whole air will be flashing red. But now we need to go to the toilets. Once we open the door, we will find your very first card of the game. So moving on, still on the ground floor. So now we need to hack the door. Once you've done that successfully, you can now enter. On your way, you'll find a car that drives away from you. So just keep that in mind. So pick up the card to the right. I believe it's on side a washing machine on top. So now we're going to find the RC car that is located next to room 017. So all you have to do for this one is just pick them up. You don't have to scan them, I don't think. But I just scan them anyway just to make sure. So now we're going to do the first and second mini game of the game. So inside apartment 017, you will find a computer. On that computer, you will find a program called With Fire and Swords. So we need to, to complete all 10, but of course we can't do them all because there are multiple computers throughout the whole game. So pretty much the first two levels are pretty simple. All we have to do is collect all the coins and get to the princess. And of course, each stage of the game will get harder and harder. Once we've finished both of these, we can now get the next card located on the radiator inside the same room. The next card, card number four, located inside the janitor room. So once you open it, the card will be located behind the door, behind the monitor on the table. The next mini game is located in the janitor's room. So make sure you go towards his computer and search for the program. This will now be level three. So once you have successfully done that, I'd recommend speaking to the janitor, so you need to find him. He's located in the corridor, and he may be in the office where you are. Once you've spoken to him, you need to go outside. Once you're outside, we now want to enter the ventilation area. Once we enter, you have to go find the computer on the right side. Make sure you turn the power on, or plug it in. Once you've done that, you need to wait for it to boot up. Once you're on there, you need to access the maintenance access to turn that on. You will get a loading bit. And then you want to download the latest version. So it'll be the 5.61, so make sure you download the driver. Once you have done that successfully, 
you now want to open the maintenance access tunnel. Once you have done that, go in the middle of these two server looking things, open the tunnel and go towards the dead end to find your card number 5. And also I do these in a specific order to try to avoid any backtracking as possible. So once we've found the last card, we want to go back outside now where the tattoo shop is. If you look on the left side of the shop, you'll find three trash bins. Or rubbish bins. In the middle, there will be a blue one. Of course, they're all blue, but in the middle blue bin, you will find card number six. Okay, we're now going to go to the basement floor. Just to find one of the four roses. So go through the main door or the apartment door and now we want to go downstairs and once we go down the stairs we'll be located in the basement floor look left and you'll find your first rose you. Why leave it here? I wasn't too sure either if we have to scan it but I always scan it just to make sure once you're happy you can move on so now we're going to head back up to the first floor and finish collecting these items. So once we reach the first floor, we've got a whole set of new items. Yay! But as soon as you go to the top, look on the laptop. We'll find the first card of this floor. But as soon as you go through, go for the first door to the right inside the toilet on top of the TV. You will find card number eight. Card number nine. Go back into the stairway and go on to the outside walkway. Once you go around to the far end, you'll find the chair and on that chair you'll find your card number nine. Card number 10. Go to the door on the right. Once you enter, You will see a TV pointing to the right with an arrow. In this area here, you will find a TV and a card resting on the TV. We are going to the next card. So this is where I was located. Moving on from the last location. So we need to head to room 110. I believe it's 110 if I remember right. Yes, it is. So right next to room 110, you'll find a big wardrobe. Right next to that, or inside it, you'll find your next card. Recording number one. Go back down and go in the hole to the left. Go into the toilets and you want to flush this toilet to find your first recording. There's only four. So we're back at room 110 and now we're going to leave the area and go back to the stairway. We want to go into the room that says 111 to 114. Once we're in here, you want to find the room 113 and speak to this little girl. Once you've finished speaking to her, she'll tell you a combination. So you can get inside room 114. 1074. Let's give it a shot. Once the door is unlocked, you want to go inside now and take a sharp right and look inside the cabinet. Okay, we're now going to enter the first hack. So just a reminder, if you miss the card for any reason, you have to do the whole game again. Because there's only one save file, and if you happen to mess up just once, you have to do the whole thing over. So pay very close attention. So once we're in this room, you'll see a lady. Use your detective vision and hack into her chip. 
you can miss this one, so uh, just a word of warning. So once you go through the dream, you will find all this shiny yellow stuff and all monitors everywhere. You? Once you get further up, you'll find a path that does this. You have to go through here anyway, so you can't really miss this area. But if you look very closely, there will be a like a panel that you need to pull a lever down. And then this will activate a single slider in the middle, and then it will activate two sliders on the left and right. Once you line them up correctly, you will get a short scene of a tree exploding, and just past where you've done the, the slides, you will find a card located where the tree was. So this will be the game number four. So after the hack, you will find the computer located on the left side of her. Once you go inside, do the game. And then we can move on. Yay, we did it. So we're still on the first floor. We're now going to go to Amir's hack now. So go into room 104. I believe this is part of the story, so you cannot miss it. So you need to do it anyway. But once you get here for the case log, or an update, you'll see Amir on the floor, quite bloody. And then once you spoke to him, you'll need to go hack inside. During his dream, there will be a total of four cards. So once you see the kitchen area, and you'll find writing on the right and left side of the wall. You'll find a small kitchen. Do not look or don't get close to the window. In one of the cabinets in the kitchen, you will find the next hack. This is the reason why you don't want to go towards the window because the room will change and you cannot get it anymore. So once you get past room 209, you'll find the same TV pointing to the right hand side and a barrier. Look on the door to find your next card. So once you keep switching around in the dream, you'll get to a prison area. You'll need to run directly straight and it will teleport you to another room that has flashing lights. So pretty much as soon as you see the flash, you want to turn around and you'll find it located on the wall. So once you get to the shower, you want to turn it around. Once you've done that, you will find a TV. As soon as you run next to it or touch it, it will run away. Once you've touched it for the first time, you want to go to the shower to locate it on the right side. And you will find your final card of this hack located on the wall. So once you have finished Amir's hack, you want to go to the drawers located next to the bloody bath. Open the drawer to find the next card. In the kitchen section, you'll find game number five, located on the counter next to the sink. Now, all you have to do now is open it up and start playing. done we made it we made it so that was level five so now we want to go to the second floor so that's where we are go outside the balcony take the first door to your left as soon as you enter this room you'll find a red couch located to the right and a single green chair on that green chair you'll find the next card Rose number two, located in a walkway that looks like it's outside. That goes in between the two buildings. Buildings. And you'll find the next rose located on the uh, the metal fencing. Card number 20, we're now gonna head towards the kitchen.
and once again you will find a car that drive away from you so just remember that so pick up the card before you enter the kitchen so now go through the blue door and ta-da we're in the kitchen and now we want to find the RC car so just to be safe just hack it or scan it and pick it up and touch it a few times just to make sure Now we want to go into the kitchen section and open the fridge. Once we've opened it, you will find the card number 21. So we're still at the second floor, but this is another stairway. So go to room 211 and 213, I believe this goes up to. So in this section here, this is where I'm located. You will find a poster on the floor. You'll find your next card. So since we're here, we're going to go to the third floor because the third floor can be kind of confusing because there's two stairways and one of the stairways are blocked. So we're going to go to the stairway that's blocked because you can only get it here. So once you go to the third floor, as soon as you go up, you'll find a red chair with flowers on it. Located on the chair, you will find the card. Directly behind you, before you head down the stairs, you'll find your recording number two. So head back down now to the second floor and go towards room 207. In the washing machine section, you'll find a card located in the locker. Right next to room 205, you'll find another card. Now once you enter room 205, you'll find another card located on the table just before you enter, or just after you entered the room. Game number 6. Located in the next room, you will find a laptop, or sorry, a computer, located on a kitchen table. Make sure you play the game and beat it. Oh man, this is a long voiceover. 43 minutes of it. So if you hear me start drinking, I'm drinking water to try and keep my um my throat nice and dry. Or not dry. Lubricated. So once we go to the third floor now, on the other staircase, because the other one's blocked, go into the area, I believe is room 302. Unless I'm completely wrong. But yeah, in this room here, eventually on your mission, you will find this card located in the cabinet. So now we're going to go into the room now where you'll see a creepy doll located on a chair. Once you hack the room, you want to go inside and now can play on the computer. Level 7. Yeah, I had a hard time doing this one. I spent at least 20 minutes figuring stuff out. Of course, you only see the finished product, though. You don't see all the mistakes I've done. I'm trying to figure this one out. Boom! Kill them all, apart from three. So just make sure you collect all the coins now before we go on any further, because if you don't, we will die. So grab the attention of one of the enemies and go around in circles to grab another attention. And finish the level. <laughs> moving on, moving on. So now we're going to leave. We're still going to be on the third floor. Just to let you guys and girls know, for this card, if for some reason, I think his name is Jonas, Janus, Jesus, God, whatever his name is, sometimes you'll hear him inside this toilet here. If for some reason you hear him, 
just leave the area and come back. And for some reason, I actually managed to unlock the door then. I'm not sure why he's in here, but... So once we've done that, we now want to proceed on with the mission. So once we go outside towards the tattoo shop where we need to go to find Helena, you will find another RC car located in the courtyard area. Eventually you need to watch it and wait for it to stop. Once it stops, do the usual thing, scan it, pick it up. And now we want to move on to the tattoo parlor. Well, not parlor, but tattoo shop. So once we enter, we'll find a hidden computer. It's not like a normal computer, it's one of the holographic computers on the right. At first I thought there was a computer to the left, and it wasn't. I was like, where is it? But yeah, it's one of these computers. And old game number eight. This one was really easy. I've done this on my first attempt. Let's do this. I could have done the, the coins a bit better. On the top right side, but other than that, it's, it's still pretty simple, this one. Surprisingly, anyway. So many coins. So many. I'm getting chased. So we've done that one. Number eight, or level eight, is now complete. Okay, warning once again. Uh, we are now back into another hack, Helena's hack. So if you happen to miss any cards throughout this playthrough, you will have to do it again. So I try my best to explain where everything is. So pretty much once we start, we've got to do the introduction to the hack or to the company. So you've got to keep saying yes until they're happy with you. So eventually you'll go into a dark office area. It will finally get some light on. So walking around the cubicles. This is the cafeteria to the left. Go right and go down this corridor here. I think it's the second to last cubicle on the right. You will find your first of six cards located in this hack. Okay, once we enter the cafeteria, you will see a mirror. And he will flip the table and go crazy. So I'm speeding things up now. So once you follow the snake, and you have to go turn on this screen. And then once you turn it on, you will find a monster in the back. So once you walk towards him, it will kind of be of a jump scare, but not really. But this is where you'll be located. You'll see like a red line going across to left to right. So go right and pretty much look right again and you will find another one of these hazard symbols, skull symbols, like telling you that there's a card nearby. Okay, shortly after going through the crawl space, you'll get into this part here where there's a lockdown just happened. Once it scans you, you have to wait, then the door will unlock. And this is Helena's bedroom area, I believe. On the counter in the kitchen, you will find a digital clock you need to activate making sure you do the time as 3.20 a.m. Once you've done it, you will hear a printer go off, printing your next card. So in the washing machine section, you will also find Helena, and she says, I can't do this anymore. I just can't. Once you go and touch her, you'll get teleported. You will see a door directly in front of you when you teleport and some things on the ceiling. If you go back and look left, you'll find another door behind you. So pretty much crawl underneath this crawl space, you will find another card located in the back. Once you have finished the monsters area, so there's quite a bit of this area you need to do. So once you finally got away from him, you'll find some green cables on the floor. So follow the green cables and go up the stairs. As soon as you touch the doorknob, uh, a person from the other side will push a card through. So make sure you grab that. 
So this will be the final RC car. So once you find a baby, a TV baby, you have to do this puzzle section. So once you open the second door with the baby's power, once we do it correctly that is, open the door, take the baby with you, and you'll find the door to the left that will close, and just head directly straight. Ignore the next power, go straight into this door here, and then you want to go right. And now put the power into this door here, and you'll find a bedroom. And on the side here, you will find the RC car is actually fully made now. As soon as you pick it up, you'll get the uh, achievement for work in progress. So once you've finished speaking with, I don't know what his name is, but speaking with someone, you'll be in this blue area. And also you'll notice in this blue area some orange wire or orange light shining on the wire. So pretty much we need to go there. So once you touch it, or get close to it, you will find that there's another symbol of a card located nearby. So on the desk here you will find the next card. Once you've finished the hack, you got to type the combination in, in the tattoo shop. So 3615, once you finish the hack, give it a shot. And then a magic door will appear. As soon as you go into the back room, you will find another card located on the right as soon as you go through the door. Card number 36. We're now going to go into the basement. So we're going to the surgery. But for some reason I still named this ground floor. But once we're in the surgery for the first time, on the left side on the rack you will find some stem or synchronizing capsules. And you'll find a card. Once you have broken the door, or the gate, or the grate on the floor, sorry. This will lead into the basement. As soon as we leave, after I sped it up, so as soon as we leave, we want to go to the left. And you'll find a door located to the left, and I believe it's 006. Enter the room. Next to the TV on the table, you will find that there's card number 37. Card number 38. So now we're just going to wander around now until we find the right room. So at this point you'll see a camera spots you and then you should see a floating chair that blows up. Once you've done that there will be another area here so next to room 015 and 016 you will find a fridge and in that fridge you will find the next card. So we're going to find the recording now, recording number 3, and then we're going to find the next game. So go past room 019 and go into the gate. Go up and you need to go towards the room 020. In that room you will find your recording, this is number 3. We've already talked about this, your father isn't himself interested in mine. So game number 9, so level 9 pretty much. From the last location, go into room 021. So this will be a bedroom. Or, well, it looks like a bedroom. But anyway, let's do this level. Level 9. Level 9 wasn't that bad. It's the same thing. Oh no, it was bad. Yes, this, yeah, this is a pain in the ass. It really was. This is the right pain in the bum. So pretty much we needed to um, have all these insects come to the top section. And then we need to grab all the coins at the bottom section. So it's not too bad once you know how, but it's a pain in the ass to figure it out. We did it. We're grown ups. We're big boys. So card number 39. Now go back to where we found that card in the fridge. So next to room 015 and 016. Go into the door to the left. You'll find some stairs going down. And you'll come to a dead end. 
make sure you pick up the card. So if I remember right, um, we need to find the room 018, I believe. Once you see the shadow of the monster looking thing. Oh no, 028. Oh, I was one number off. But if you've done the case files previously in the other area, you'll notice or well, you'll find out what the code is. So it's 7441. In the fallen over fridge, pick up the card. Also, in that previous room, there was an achievement for destroying the pig. So if you want to do that, then do it now. So once you're about to leave the basement floor, we're going to head into the looping hallway. I do apologize of the length of these videos, for, well, for some of them, because I want to show you guys as much as I can so you don't get lost. Because these, well, this part onwards is like pretty much, if you miss it, you can't come back. It's one of them things. So like I said, I would say a good 8% of these cards and any collectible is missable. So in the looping hallway, you will hopefully notice on the door when you keep looking left, there will be a intercom section. So speak to this lovely lady and just talk a bunch of gibberish to her. Once you finish speaking to her, you want to go back now and enter the toilet that wasn't here before. Okay, this is very important. Once you get the case file for go investigate room 210, as soon as you see this white light, you want to turn around and look where the LP is. On the side there, you will find your card number 42. Established. Once you have finished Jack's hack, uh, you don't really know. It's one of these hacks that are pretty much forced onto you. You don't know you're in it until you leave it. So once you're in his apartment, go into the kitchen and look at the bottom drawer on the left side next to the kitchen sink, I believe, is the next card. So once you revisit the surgery, in the top left, you will find a shadow of a body. On that shadow, you will find the next card. Card number 45. So now once we're following Victor's tracks on the floor, so pretty much your guy will scan the blood and then you have to follow it. So this is kind of the third floor, or it looks like the third floor of the level, or the apartment section. Go into the door to the right, you will find another card located on the chair. So once you have finished the forest area, so pretty much there are three power bricks, you got to use your scan sonar thing to find where they are. Once you found it, before you exit the story section, you will find the card before you open the door. So now we are going to follow Victor's tracks still. So now we need to go into the attic. So this is pretty much a point of no return. As soon as you enter the attic, you cannot go back. So once you're in the attic, you'll find some stairs going up. So make sure you go up the stairs and go into the door to the left, the far left door. And this will be rose number three. No, for fuck's sake, Gertrude. So for some, but yeah, for some reason I couldn't hack this one for some reason, so I left it. Well, I mean, not hack it, but I couldn't scan it for some reason. But from the previous location, continue on with your mission. Eventually, you will find that there's a a door located on the floor. So do not interact with this door. Just don't do it. On the left side, you will find an overturned or a toppled over cabinet. Underneath that, you will find a card. Once you drop down, please make sure you go into Victor's hack, because I believe you can miss this area. I don't think you have to do it. So just be warned, make sure you go into Victor's hack. Don't worry, you won't miss it because you're looking directly at him. So now, once we enter Victor's hack, you will find children and a big woman with TVs as heads. So in this room here, you will find that there's a card located in this steamy area. So once you see Victor's mask, you will get into some sort of bedroom. 
And your mum's doing like a nursery to you, nursery rhyme to you. Once you find the wolf, you will find your deer once again. So pretty much all we need to do now is just follow the deer. So if the deer goes right, we follow the deer. Go through this door here, and hopefully you should notice that there's some grass growing on the mat of one of the doors. And if you look closely, there's an, also an indication of a card nearby. Card number 50. So once again, we're still following the deer around, and we will get flashbacks of Victor's house. So on the third flashback, there will be a kitchen section to the left, so ignore where the deer is going, and go into the kitchen. You will find a fridge, and in that fridge you will find the card number 50. So once you've been following the deer, he will take you to a church. On the, I believe it's the second or third chair to the right, you will find the next card. Later on, you will find the tattoo shop once again. You don't have to go inside if you don't want to. But that is up to you. So once we go down, you will find the deer once again running off. So just pay attention to the left, you will see a gravestone. So you see like a red light there to the right, and look left and you'll find the rose number four. So all you have to do is get very close to it. You don't have to pick it up because you can't. And then you'll She's get the next here. achievement. So once you're running away from the demon or the monster, you will see a giant Jonas. Thanks. You better or Jesus. I just, I, I, you know what? I'm calling God. Very nasty there. there he is. So once you see him, you'll find the card on the counter. So once we left Victor's hack, we now want to carry on. So we are now going to go inside the sewers. As soon as you leave the hack area, you will find that there's a hole and a beam. Underneath the beam, you'll find your next card. Card number 54. So pretty much from the previous location, we want to crawl through this space and go to the next room. In that next room, you'll find that there's three red switches that you can't activate just yet. There's the three switches. Go into the next door to your left. You will find a fuse box. Before you find that fuse box, you will find the locker. In the middle locker, you will find your next card. Card number 55. Once you gain access to the next area, so once you turn the power back on, go through the door, and you want to stay to the left. You will find room 042, and you'll find a fan directly in front. So next to room 043 and 044, on the cooker, you will find your next card. So on your way, we're now exactly in the sewers. Once we drop down, there's only one way you can go for now. When you get to a point, there's a turning going left or go straight. Left is the correct way, but go straight for now so we can get the card. So you will actually realize we have to go back to that turn to the left to proceed on with the game. So once you go through that turn to the left, you will find Victor's room or den, place. whatever it is. Hard to but on the picture or on the wall of posters, you will find one of the cards as well. So this will be the final game and you'll gain another achievement. Yeah, first glance of this game, this level, I thought, how the hell am I going to do that? But to be honest, it's pretty simple. Just follow the, the knives or the swords. See, it's not that bad. But once you beat it, you will get your achievement. So once you are inside Adam Sever's head now, uh, you'll pretty much run into a big massive building and then computers will turn on. 
before we hit download or access, you will find a card located on the floor. Once you hit access, you'll be back into the sewers eventually. Once you gain power, once again, to the door, this door here will be red, so you need to turn the power on. Once you've done that, it's part of the story. Go through the door, climb underneath the pipe, and go left. Ignore the pipes to the front, because that is the correct way to go of the story, but go left before we go straight to find the next card. Eventually, you will find two routes, left or right. I think the left one's blocked, so take the only one you can, and that is to the right. Once you enter this next section, you will find that there's some pipes on the left and a bright light. Behind the pipe, you will find the next card. This is card number 60. So pretty much this is very close from the last location. So once you leave, and you'll find the sanctuary area. Massive building, can't miss it. In this area to the left, you'll find a set of double doors that is locked. On the left side of the door, on the ground, you'll find the next card. Card number 62. Located past the archway, on the piano to the right hand side. Once you've pressed a few buttons, and you'll find this elevator to the right hand side. Ignore that elevator for now. On the balcony, you will find the next card. So the elevator is part of the story, so you need to go up there anyway. Once you go up the elevator, you'll find this red room shortly after. Once you interact with the computer in the front, so go up the stairs and next to the computer monitor, you will find the next card. Card 65. You will pretty much run right past this, so you can't really miss this barrier. But as soon as you go under the barrier, you will find the card located on the left. Trust me, you can't you can't miss it, you have to go past it. Also, you'll find some more barriers once you proceed on. So once you have found all three recordings, this recording number four here will be located on the table. If you haven't found the rest of the recordings, you won't find this one. So later on, shortly after I should say, you will find this room. It's quite bright. On the right side of the room, before we carry on into the small doorway, you will find another card. Okay, this one will be quite long. Because it can be quite confusing. So once you find the the dream demon, or the hack demon, walking around here, you will see him, because it will pretty much this part of the game. You will definitely see him. So the best thing to do is... Um, stay away from him but if you as soon as you enter this room just go to the far left side so you'll see this um, yellow room or yellow corridor the yellow lights on the floor and you'll see an eye at the end of it and some blood so don't go that way don't go this way either so from here you want to go back slightly and now you want to go right this room is very confusing. It took me a while trying to find this thing. And also you'll notice some blood and you'll see some orange monitors with some lips on them and you'll find some blood. And you'll find the next card. So this next card is pretty simple to find. So before we finish the monster section, we open this door, part of the story, it will close behind you. You'll find all these computers once again. Do not interact with anything yet. On the right side, you will find your 68th card. So now once we interact with the computer, we can now continue on. So pretty much, we have the monster who's very angry. Extremely angry. Now we need to run. I don't know why I keep looking back for. He's coming. So go into the vent. So pretty much we need to run away from him now. 
So once we enter, we keep on going around and you'll notice three fans that are glowed up white. Not three, sorry, six fans that are glowed up white. Once you see these fans, you'll see like the floor would steam up and always look to the right. That's the best thing to do. Once you're in this crawl space, always look right for loads of power cables. It's the best thing I can tell you. Just look, always look right and look for power cables. Once you've done that, you will find your final card and you'll get the achievement for um, finding all the cards in the single playthrough as well. That is it, guys, and I'll see you guys and girls later.